cups of dried uh, beans they've turned into four in here which have been soaking overnight in some water I'm simply gonna rinse them out of this water they soaked in and put them in a pot I have about this much more water on top of the beans I'm gonna use two tablespoons of bacon fat in this uh, you can use lard as well you can also use chorizo Mexican chorizo you know the grease that uh, that's rendered when you cook it I'm going to add a, a, a small white onion which I chopped and some salt. Alright, I'm going to let this cook until my beans are nice and tender. I am melting two tablespoons of lard in here. You can use bacon grease if you have it. We're going to cook half an onion very finely chopped in here and we're going to cook this until it starts browning. So this will take about, oh, I don't know, six, seven minutes. Uh, now this, that this is starting to brown, I'm going to add a large garlic clove, which I minced. Uh, we'll cook this for a couple minutes until we can smell it. All right, we're gonna start mashing our beans. I'm going to add about a third of what I have cooked. And I'm gonna start mashing. I'm going to add some more beans and notice that I am using the liquid that they cooked in, the broth, you, you want that. And now I'm going to add the rest of the beans. Okay, don't worry that this lo looks soupy. It will dry up as it simmers and it cooks. It also dries up as it, as it cools down. So you might even have to uh, thin it out if you want with a little water before you serve it. I cook these until they, you know, thicken. And I'm not going to stop moving it. You can use a wooden spoon if you want, but I am going to continue mashing this and, uh, until I have all my beans mashed. But once they're all mashed, I will stir it constantly until I have it at the consistency that I want. Your beans are going to start simmering, and that's good. Just, as I said, do not stop moving them, okay? All right, these beans are ready. Uh, they are nice and thick. They will continue thickening as they cool down. So I'm going to turn off the heat. So here's our beans. They're perfect consistency. I'm going to sprinkle them with a little bit of fresh cheese, farmer's cheese, cotija cheese, whatever you can find, okay? So let's taste this. I'm going to eat it with some chips. Of course, you can serve this with Mexican rice and any Mexican food that you're cooking. Uh, in burritos, you can put them in tacos, whatever you want. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm. Oh, those beans are very, very nice. They're very creamy. They're full of flavor. They're delicious. Thank you for watching this video. I really, really appreciate it. If you liked it and you give me a like, thank you. If you share it with your friends, thank you again. And if you haven't subbed, all you gotta do is click right here. And thank you for that also. <laughs> I will have this recipe on the website waiting for you guys to come and print it. In the meantime, well, without going broke, I'm gonna see you guys soon.